Hey everybody, it's Belle. I'm here and I'm playing Fallout 4! Woo! Um, I thought I'd do something different and uh, maybe fun. I'm just going to be finding places in the Commonwealth that I haven't found before. As you can see, I'm level 18, but um, I'm going to be finding places in the Commonwealth I haven't found before and exploring them without looking them up beforehand and uh just seeing what we find so um i saved my game right outside a place i've never been to before um i don't even know what it's called uh settlement recruitment you can see signal found okay so as we can see uh it's a house and there is a feral ghoul hanging out there i think there's also another yeah there's a bunch that i can't see um Luckily, I'm very perceptive. Um, and I have Hancock with me. He's not in his normal clothes, except for his hat. Uh, cause I make my characters put on, put on armor. Um, so let me see. He, whoop! He aggroed them, I'm going to say. I'm going to blame him. There's so many. <laughs> I don't have the right weapon out for this. I shouldn't be wasting my sniper bullets on this. So I I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't know what this place is. Whoa! A ghoul just fell from the sky. Did you maybe hit the ghoul, Hancock. Holy crap! How did that one just fall from the sky? No, I don't want to take. I want to change my gun. Um, <laughs> so that went, um, Gorski Cabin. So that went, uh, Time to collect. wild a little bit sooner than I meant it to. This will give a death claw nightmares. Place like this will give a death claw nightmares. It's just a cabin. It's just a cabin. We might have even killed all the feral ghouls in the cabin. I mean, oh, nope, we didn't. Alright, so there's one more feral ghoul. And there is a cellar. So, I guess this is uh, more interesting than just a cabin. <laughs> Alright. So, I've seen blast craters in better shape than this place. So, side note, um, there's a lot in Fallout that creeps me out. Um, one of those being ghouls. I am not a scary person, or, well, I, I could be a scary person, we don't know. Um, I'm not a scary, like, situation kind of person. I don't deal well with horror. I don't deal well with um, uh, jump scares. Uh, you probably won't hear me scream because I'm not a screamer, per se. Um, uh, but I definitely find uh, scary situations to be... Not good. I get a lot of nightmares. What's this? You know, this looks like I should be able to harvest it, so... Why can't I? Oh, sorry. My <laughs> my girlfriend is texting me. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, it's on vibrate, but... Oof, getting rads. Getting rads. Turn that off. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, dear. You're not a friendly ghoul, are you? Nope, you have no face. Is that... Is that the whole thing? We found him. We found Wayne Gors Gorski. Um... Holy jeez, there's a lot of rads. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I really hope you guys can't hear my phone going off. 
Not that it helps, seeing as how I am commenting on it, but, uh, uh where is it? There we go. Take that. So many radioactive barrels in here, what the heck? Then aluminum, screwdriver, don't care. Take the bottle cap mine. Let's check out the terminal, shall we? Welcome to Robco Industries, password required. All right, let's see here. Uh, path, no likenesses. So not mate, not walk, not game, not tall, might be nice. No likenesses, not maze, not pure, Could be cult, cult works. Okay, statement of intent. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a free-thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand idly by as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and have begun construction on an incendiary device. If you are reading this, I have certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. Nope, you turned into a ghoul. News will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Because they'd let this computer stay intact. Let all true patriots know what I do. I do of my own free will and for the good of my country. I guess that's what the bottle cap mine was. And then Wasteland Survival Guide. Cool. You've collected an issue of the Wasteland Survival Guide. Diamond City is now permanently marked on your map. I've already been there. Uh, so, anything good in the desk? Nope. I'm just gonna sit here and absorb rads as I, uh, I just try to find anything useful in this place. I guess turpentine would be good, duct tape is good, mini nuke hemisphere core, sure, mini nuke detonator scale, lots of mini nuke stuff, alarm clock, why not, more duct tape, which I love. Love me the adhesives. And uh, I should I should get out of here. I'm taking a lot of rads. Well, excellent. So for my first uh, exploration, um, I found some dude's uh, fallout shelter, I guess. And... Um, he had turned into a ghoul, so things did not go well for him. What's in the tub? A toaster. That's not a good thing to have in a tub. And, uh, yeah. I got, uh, Diamond City permanently marked on my map. And, uh, that's all that happened on this one. So, hey! We got some bourbon. About this place. Something ain't right about this place. You got that. Oh, we got some jet. So Hancock should be happy about that. He strangely has never um, been happy with me when I take drugs, which I, apparently he's supposed to be. But uh, anyway, so there's the thing that uh, drove this man crazy. Uh, here is his house. And uh, there's another goal. Uh, anyway, so that's it for today's Exploring the Wasteland. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this brief jaunt into a cabin. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!